to the other. I'm gonna head to Berezino and check out the hospital. I'll show you where that is real quick. It's only gonna take me a little bit to run there, but I'll get there. Hopefully in one piece. If you're following the coast, we might find a boat. Maybe find Billy if he got washed away in a tsunami or something. Hopefully we'll find him. zombies down there. Did see a couple survivors here the other day. In this little area they uh actually where is it? It's nighttime and you can hardly see them. They silhouetted themselves on the hill when they were through coming through here. They didn't see us, thank goodness. But there's a metal roof with there it is, right there. The metal roof with the uh, metal siding, the uh, support beams. They ran through. What? I thought it was pumpkins. I wonder if meat actually lasts longer, like for food. Like, depending on what you eat, it affects how soon you get hungry. Like, if you eat uh, higher quality food, like, instead of just eating sa uh, sardines. Like being the worst thing that you could probably eat next to uh, grass, maybe. That it would it would give you more time before you actually got hungry again. Same thing with water, and like if you could drink your water bottle instead of soda, like soda doesn't give you quite as long. But maybe like a short energy burst, and the caffeine would wear off. I wonder if they actually become dependent on caffeine, like if you drink too much, is that a tent? No, it's a rock. If you drink too much caffeine all the time, you would have to drink it in order to... That's a tree, I fell over. You would have to uh, do something about filling it back up. I did see a car here the other day, a pond nearby. There's the uh, blunt rock little lake thing and then there's a uh, the little lake small pond area over here that I saw it it was in the the bushes hiding I don't think anyone wanted to see it it's a very shy UAZ but I managed to find one I'm not sure if it had anything to do with this when he drove it down in there because it was like parked in the water it was completely damaged it had wheels but the hull and everything else was was totally messed up. And I think I'm gonna be running right next to it actually, because I'm running southwest. I might be coming across it over here soon. I think it'll be on the left hand side. I'm not sure. see it. Oh well. I'm sure it's over there somewhere. Probably hasn't moved. Probably in the same spot it was last time I, I found that lake. As the vehicles move, I don't think the lake would change the position it was in. Maybe if it got uncomfortable for being in that position for so long that it would have to move. I don't know. Alright, here's the road. South of... Uh, Here's the bend, so it's right over here. It should be right there. Right through these woods. Yeah, I can see it. There it is. There is the lake. No, oh, it's a tree. Dang it. It's very difficult to kind of tell between a leak and a leak. Yeah. Oh no, I found a leak. Uh, a lake and a tree. For some reason, they had the same kind of coloring to them. You can see them in the distance, so... I think I want to follow this down. This looks like a creek bed to me. That water would go down, so it makes sense that there is water down here. At the very bottom. 
of the thing. You'd think there'd be one down here. Because the road's right there. And the pond should be right here. No? Uh, maybe it's the next one over. Either then I'm going to run into the ocean. Which isn't very far away. Alright, here's another creek bed. A dried up little runway. Water goes downhill. I've never seen water go uphill. I'm pretty sure it's probably down here. Yeah, this looks familiar. Those those rocks look like part of the, the pond that I've seen before. Or not. I think that's it right there. No. I think that's a bush. I'm sure it's around here so what was that? The heck? Where did he come from? What the heck's going on? I thought I just heard like a vehicle sound or something. Now I have a zombie behind me. This is the pond here. That was really weird. That was like a door or something. I don't know. Looks like he's hurt. Oops, I missed. Got him. Alright. Don't forget to hide the evidence. I don't want to find out that he killed a zombie. I don't know what the heck that sound was. That was weird. Never heard that sound before except with like a vehicle or something. I'm stuck in the bush. Alright, now I'm out. It was right over there. I don't see it. There's tents. I guess this would be kind of an ideal place to make it a camping area because you're next to water. And there are sometimes there's animals that spawn nearby. Hmm, let's go see what's in there. I usually don't like raid tents. I see one, I usually just go, I'm kind of curious about what's inside. So I'll run over there to take a look what's inside, and if there's just like food or something, I'll usually just take one or two of them, just so I can replenish what I have. Hey, it was a crossbow. Oh wait, 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 no, no, back up. I need to go to the shore. I need to get my, my water can out. Kind of silly to try and fill up your water bottle and you don't even have it with you. All right. Go ahead and grab it. Grab my canteen thingy. And fill the water. It seems silly that you have to actually be swimming in order to fill this. There it is. Should just be able to get in the water a little bit and then be able to fill. But I don't know what the sound was. That was really random. I think I see more than this two. There's one there. One here. And I thought there was one behind it as well. Yeah, there is. So there's three here. Four tents. Holy cow. I might have just set the mother load of gear here. So there's nothing inside this one. Usually it'll say uh, rearm. You can tell if something's inside of it. It says rearm. Add it. It needs to both empty because there's nothing to rearm with. Let's check the next two. Yeah, there's gear in this one. A car wheel. M9 mag, soda. M9. Okay. Uh, let's see here. It's the last one. Gear. I think this one's empty. Alright, it's empty. And there was that sound, then. Oh, bunny rabbit. This. Oh, 
spooky. There's a wheel. Maybe there's a car nearby. Get up on top of that rock and see if I can find something. And put me in a little bit of an advantage up here. I can actually look down. I think this always happens to me. Whenever I plan on going somewhere, I always get sidetracked. No matter what it is. Like, I could take two feet and then, like, in between the step between the one and the two. Like, oh, look, there's something over there. And then I get sidetracked. This is where I saw it. It has to do with something with that shack right there. It looks open. I think. There might be something inside there. Oh, there's a car right there! Holy cow. It's a really well hidden car. So when he took the time to hide that thing. It's a red vehicle. Car. Save. And what happens if I do that? I haven't figured that out yet. Getting back. Should be a symbol. Rearm. There's stuff inside here. Bandages. Empty can. Scrap metal. Water bottle. Oh, I just hurt myself. What the heck? I should heal. I wonder how much of a... This thing's almost empty. It wouldn't be worthwhile to really take it for a drive. I can honk the horn at least. That doesn't take fuel. But it's fully repaired. I'll leave it there. It'd be hilarious if somebody heard me nearby. What the heck? <laughs> so I'll leave that car there. I don't see anything else nearby. Seem to be doing okay. Probably need to drink something here soon. What was that? Thought I heard a rolling sound. Like a vehicle, like tires rolling. Alright, let's keep going. I've been hearing a lot of noises lately. I don't know if it's paranoid or what. Those birds freak me out too whenever they fly away. I think I came through here because I remember. No, well, that's a different tree. Should be heading. Oops, wrong button. Southwest. I'll take me to Barazino. At least the side of the town I want to be on. I could follow the coast, but the coast is pretty dangerous. Uh, survivors, bandits, zombies, they all like to hang out there. It's like a little beach party. Don't forget your flippy floppies. Definitely would take those if you were going there. What was that? Not the tree. That was a vehicle. Looked like a camouflage UAZ sitting there, like the front half. But... Nope. Just kidding. I think it takes uh, one fuel tank, one rotor, one uh, engine, two scrap metal, and 30 cans of, of gasoline to repair one of these vehicles. Oh, dang it. 